Igish Fiontech versus Serana Castella is the fourth quarter final for the ladies at Indian Wells for 2023. And both players have been very impressive to get to this stage. Castella started the tournament off unseeded and will take on the qualifier Birrell in the first round. This posed no problem getting through in straight sets 6 3, 6 2. In the second round, she take on the 19th seed Keys, who had been battling injury of late. And after winning the first set 6 1, Keys was forced to retire in the second, allowing Castella to get through. In the third round, she take on Pera, who had just taken out Samson over in an epic match. This was no problem for Castella, winning through in straights, 6-3, 6-1. In the fourth round, she take on Caroline Garcia, the number five seed, who was coming off a final only a week ago. And this match was brutal, with Castella eventually getting through in a tight third set, 6-4, 4-6, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. Triontek started the tournament off as a number one seed, and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Lou, the American. But this was no problem for Triontek, getting through in straights, 6-love, six 6-1. Six in the third round, she take on the 32nd seed on Drescu, who she'd played last year on the clay. And after a close second set, Set, Triontek would have to fight to get through 6376 to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'd take on Emma Rodokanu, who had been very impressive this week, beating Hadaj Maya in the third round. But this didn't phase Triontek getting through in straight sets easily 6361 to get to another quarterfinal. These two have only played the one time before. That was actually at the Australian Open last year, with Triontek getting the win, but Castella did win the first set in that match 7 5, so maybe Castella can use those memories. If Castella is going to win this one, she needs to keep her cool and she needs to make sure. Fiontek run around. Also get off to a really good start because what happens with Fiontek in the first few games, she either comes out nervous or a little bit slow. So Castella's got to take advantage of that slow start from Fiontek. If Fiontek's going to win, she's going to limit the errors. The forehand has been a little bit off this week. She got away with it against Rodokanu, but the forehand doesn't seem to be working as well as maybe she would like going into these later stages. So she needs to get that forehand working and really just play the way she's been playing. If the forehand starts working, she could open the bakery again. This is an interesting matchup because I think no one expected Castella to be here. And of course, Fiontek's going to always be in the quarterfinals. I'm going to go Shriontek in straight sets. I think it might be close though. I think Castella might surprise a few, but I think Shriontek's going to win this match and keep going on. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this quarterfinal?